make the quote mark. You have to assume that it's going to be absolutely huge, so I'm going to draw a large text box over here at the side. I'm going to make a quote mark symbol. Hit Command A to highlight that all. Come up here and pick my Oswald bold font. I've already given you a hint that it's 484 points tall, and I can't see it. And that's because the size of the frame that needs to hold that quote mark is going to be absolutely huge. So if I go back with the black arrow tool, I can now see that this is how big I allowed for, which looks like it's enough, but it's not. If I come down here and find the very bottom right corner of that box and pull a little bit wider and taller, I'm suddenly going to see it. And that's great. But one thing we're also going to realize is that the built-in quote mark has too much space between them compared to what they actually used. So this is a pretty common thing. I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to delete the double quote mark. <clears throat> and I'm going to replace it with two single quote marks. Then I'm going to come back and highlight that all. And I'm going to come up here to where it says optical. And then I'm going to hold down the little option button and I'm going to type the left arrow to kern those closer together so that they look more about like this. And then we're also going to see in class that this is still huge and it's so awkward to have to deal with this massive thing covering this up. So as soon as I'm pretty happy with the size of those quote marks, I'm going to go up to the word type and I'm going to pull down and I'm going to let go on create outlines. That now converts it. It's no longer a text block. It's a piece of art. But the box snaps to being just the exact size that this is supposed to be. So I can come over here. I can come back into my swatches panel. I can click the fill is supposed to be orange. And then rather than going through the exact same thing to make the close quote marks, that just seems like it's just too much of a pain. I'm going to go up to edit, copy, edit, paste. And then I'm going to grab that second little set. I'm going to come up here. I could type in a dimension to rotate something here if I wanted to, or I could just simply hit rotate 90, rotate 90, and now I've got my close quote marks so that I can position those wherever I need to. But this will be something we'll be doing in class tomorrow.